Ranking Member Senator Graham. Yeah, I really want to work with you. I think what you said is absolutely spot on. I talked to Larry Ellison um, from Oracle. He's uh, created a new school, I think at Oxford or Cambridge, can't remember, about food security. So there are a lot of people interested in making sure people can feed themselves and, you know, it's soil, seed, and water. You yes. gotta have water. So anyway, look forward to working with you on that. Are you familiar with the ICC arrest warrant being uh, that was uh, issued against Putin? Yes. Do you think that's sound? I think we've all seen, Senator, the atrocities and uh, war crimes committed yeah. uh, in Ukraine. Uh, and um, we all we believe strongly, as we said. I think the president said he thought that was a, a sound there needs, approach. There needs to be accountability. Yeah. And the ICC is. Uh, what do they want to arrest him for? The focus of the, as I understand it, the focus is on the uh, in effect abduction of children right. from uh, Ukraine, taking them to Russia, giving them to. Yeah. Uh, so to let's Russia's just stop for a second. He's being. Uh, there's an arrest warrant for Putin hmm. by the ICC. Hmm for kidnapping children in Ukraine and taking to Russia. Is That's that right. pretty much it, right? Yep. Uh, if Putin came to the United States for whatever reason, would we turn him over to the ICC? Well, I can't get ahead of that because obviously I have to look at the, uh, the laws and rules. As you know, we're not actually a party uh, to the yeah. ICC, so I don't want to engage in that, in that hypothetical, but- I, I would encourage you that if, you, <laughs> if he came here, we should turn him over. Now, I don't think he has any plans to travel here soon. Yeah. Well, would you encourage our European allies to turn him over? I, I think that anyone who is a uh, party to the court uh, yeah. and has obligations yeah. Uh, yeah. should uh, fulfill their obligations. Okay, are you aware that the Congress, 100 to nothing, which is pretty rare around here, mm -hmm. supported the idea of declaring Russia a state sponsor of terrorism under U.S. law? Yeah. You know, I don't know much more we can do to help you in that regard. Uh, do you intend- could I, just, could I just say on yeah. that? And oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I just I appreciate it. Look, we have, as you know, um, multiple designations uh, that yeah. focus on Russia's war crimes, atrocities, uh, yeah. et cetera. The, the SST has, brings with it also, I think, potentially some unintended consequences. So, so here's my question. Yeah. Are you gonna designate Russia a state sponsor of terrorism and U.S. law? Do you intend to do that? We are, I, what we've been doing, Senator, as you know, I think, is working with you to look at a, a new designation that would go to uh, well, crime. But, but we've sort of failed in that endeavor. And since we started, he's been a, an arrest warrant has been issued. What more do you have to do to be a state sponsor of terrorism? China, uh, the meeting with China and Putin, would you consider that a marriage of convenience or a, st a strategic alliance? Uh, perhaps a, combi a combination of both. Mm -hmm. I think you've got a... You do have a partnership. Remember, as you, as you know, right before the Russian aggression, yeah. they met, they talked about a partnership with no limits. So let's just break that down a bit here with no limits. The world is trying to put a cap on Russian oil, mm -hmm. Western world, is that correct? That's correct. I think uh, China just agreed to buy oil as much as Russia can supply. They're so, undercutting our efforts there. Do you agree with that? Uh, they are, although we've seen is two, two things, Senator. With the uh, oil uh, cap, two, we've tried to accomplish two goals. Yeah. One, reduce the revenues that Russia is getting from selling energy, yeah. but at the same time keep enough energy on the market so that we don't have a, sure. a crisis. I think we've largely accomplished that goal. Russian oil revenues are down as a result but of this about $1.5 billion a month. China has made a pledge to buy all the Russian oil they can buy, right? Not at the cap price. Well, well, we'll we'll see at what price they well, actually buy. Bottom line is, China's working against us mm -hmm. when it comes to Russia. Do you agree? Uh, I think their their diplomatic support, their yeah. political support, uh, and to yeah. some extent material support for Russia certainly yeah. goes against okay. uh, our interest in bringing this war to an end in a way that is. Uh, you just publicly perfect. said that you had reason to believe that China may be considering providing lethal aid mm -hmm. to Russia. Is that correct? That's correct. If you provide lethal aid to a state sponsor of terrorism, uh, that would be considered material support under U.S. law. Is that correct? I believe that's correct. Okay. Don't you think it would be smart to tell China you provide lethal aid to a state sponsor of terrorism? They may be more deterred than if we just remain silent about that. We, Senator, I've shared directly with uh, my Chinese counterpart uh, the uh, serious problem that China providing lethal material support to Russia for, for Ukraine. Do you think it's produce. working? Do you think they'll provide aid? As of, as we speak today, we have not seen them cross that, cross that you, line. So my point is that we made a mistake, I think, by not having pre-invasion sanctions. Mm. 
We should have uh, supplied more weapons to Ukraine before the invasion to deter the war. We're uh, a tipping point here. China is openly embracing Russia. They're undercutting everything the West is trying to do to isolate Russia. They're buying unlimited oil. I think now is the time, Mr. Secretary, to label Russia state sponsor terrorism, because they are, up the ante if China wants to continue to help Russia. Uh, would you at least consider that as a deterrent possibility? We want, to, we want to look at every uh, reasonable deterrent, but again, when it comes to the SST, and we should talk about this further, I think there are better ways to get at the same, at the same well, thing. Let, whatever those the, ways are, let's, we're over a year into this thing. Let's do something. And I'm just going to tell you, uh, as a friend, I, I like you, I, I try to work with you, I'm not going to sit on the sidelines any longer and see Russia not labeled for who they are. They're terrorists. They're wreaking havoc all over Africa. We just got back from Africa. The Wagner Group, uh, Russia committed immense war crimes in Syria. This is just their modus operandi. They just bomb the hell out of people, terrorize people, use rape as a weapon of war, and it's now time to stand up and say, uh, you're, you are a terrorist state under U.S. law, and I think the sooner we do that, the better. Uh, let's go to Mexico right quick, and I'll try to keep within my time, go over a couple of minutes. Um, are there places in Mexico that the government of Mexico does not have control? Um, I think you see uh, significant insecurity in, in, in parts well, of Well, my question is, are they ungoverned? Think, are there sure places? there are in, yeah. individual yeah. places, communities. There, where, are there, there are drug very, very cartels common. in control of parts of Mexico, not the uh, government of Mexico? I think that's, it's fair to say yes. Okay. Uh, do you agree with the, the following statement, that fentanyl coming from Mexico is killing... Americans by the tens of thousands. Uh, it is, and it's also killing Mexicans. Yeah, uh, well, do you agree it's now time to change our policy because it's not working, or do you think it is working? Um, I think that, Senator, first of all, you're exactly right about the insecurity in Mexico. As I said, the Mexican uh, people themselves are the uh, number one victims of that insecurity. The Mexican government... Are more Mexicans dying of fentanyl poisoning than Americans? Currently, no, but it's a, it's a, it's a growing problem. So how many have died in Mexico from fentanyl? Um, I don't have the exact numbers. Well, sure 70,000 died last that's, year that's alone in the United States. Do you believe our policies toward drug cartels and fentanyl coming from Mexico, that those policies are working? Uh, they, they, need to, they need to do more. They need to be more effective. Here's one uh, way we can do that. Okay. One way we can do that is making sure that we have, for example, the technology on our borders uh, to uh, detect and intercept the fentanyl. 96% of the fentanyl coming to the United States is coming through legal ports of entry. We have the technology that can catch a lot of that. Yeah. We need to deploy it faster. That's exactly How about this idea? Rather than just interdicting at the border, we go to the source and declare Mexican drug cartels foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that? Uh, yes, we'd certainly consider that. And I that would help us with China because if you provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization, mm -hmm. you could be prosecuted in U.S. courts. There are also transnational criminal organizations, and that brings with it... Uh, That's what they are today. I yeah, want and up, that, I want it's not up clear to me that, the, uh, again, that we would get additional tools or authorities. It's worth pointing we out... We would with it, China, Mr. Secretary. TCOs cannot... Material support doesn't bring you in U.S. courts. FTO, mm -hmm. material support for an FTO would capture you in U.S. courts if you're a China company. Mm -hmm. So please consider that. I would say our policy is not working. I want to introduce a map. This is travel advisory map. The State Department tells you where to go and not to go in Mexico. The red is getting redder. And, uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, enough with Mexico. Obrador is going to call um, Chi. Great. I'm not looking for a phone call from Mexico. I'm looking for action on their part. I'm willing to do a planned Colombia-type effort with Mexico, but I'm going to put the Mexican government on notice and your department. When it comes to the poisoning of America, we're going to take different action because what we're doing is not working. And this is not a confrontational statement. It's a statement of fact. They're killing more Americans from being poisoned by fentanyl from Mexico than we lost in the entire Vietnam War over a decade in a single year. And the leading cause of death in America from 18 to 45 is fentanyl poisoning. Uh, Senator, enough is I, enough. Thank I you. absolutely share your, uh, Thank you, your priority Secretary. and focus on that. Thank you, Mr. Secretary.